Okay, in this problem, we're given a function b of x, y, z is equal to the first component is e to the x minus y. The second component is x plus z. And the third component is the inverse tangent of y. And we're also given that for some function p, the partial derivative of p of, with respect to x is yz plus 2x. The partial derivative of p with respect to y is xz minus 2y. And the partial derivative of p with respect to z is xy. And we're asked to determine the partial derivative of p with respect to u, the partial derivative of p with respect to v, and the partial derivative of p with respect to w. Okay, so first we're going to want to compute the inverse function for phi. So we know that u is e to the x minus y. v is x plus z, and w is the inverse tangent of y. And we're going to want to uh, solve in terms of x, y, and z. So we get y is the tangent of w, x is the natural log of u plus y, which is the tangent of w. And z is v minus the natural log of u minus tangent of w since it's z is equal to v minus x and we know what x is. So we can write this, um, I'll write it in here. Okay, so we have our inverse function phi of u, v, w is our first component x, second component y, and third component z. So we want to determine the partial derivative of p with respect to u, which we know to be the partial derivative of p with respect to x times the partial derivative of x with respect to u. So we have x and we can calculate its partial derivative with respect to u. And then we add the partial derivative of p with respect to y times the partial derivative of y with respect to u plus the partial derivative of z, p with respect to z times the partial derivative of z with respect to u. So first we're gonna, just to make it a little bit easier, We'll compute our gradient vectors. So we have the gradient of x x is our first component of our inverse function. So the partial derivative with respect to u is 1 over u. Partial derivative with respect to v is 0. And the partial derivative of x with respect to w is secant squared. Of w. And 
we're going to want to calculate the gradient vector of y, which is just tangent of w. So we have and the gradient vector of z. So we have negative. I wrote natural log of w there, it should be natural log of u. So we have negative 1 over u. Partial derivative with respect to v is 1, and the partial derivative with respect to w is negative secant squared. Okay, so now we can start filling in information for our partial derivatives. And we have that the partial derivative of p with respect to u is the partial derivative of p with respect to x. Times the partial derivative of x with respect to u, which is 1 over u. Plus our partial derivative of p with respect to y. times 0, so we can actually just erase that term. And then the partial derivative of p with respect to z times the partial derivative of z with respect to u, which is negative xy time over u. Okay, so that's our partial derivative of p with respect to u. We want to find partial derivative of p with respect to v. Do it in a similar way. We have, oh, we can just look here and we see that the first, um, the partial derivative of x with respect to u, or v is 0. Partial derivative of y with respect to v is 0. And the partial derivative of z with respect to v is 1. So the only component that will actually affect our partial derivative is the z component. So we can take the partial derivative of p with respect to z, which is xy, times 1. So partial derivative of p with respect to v is just xy. And now we want to calculate the partial derivative of p with respect to w. So we see that we have secant squared of w for partial derivative of x with respect to w, secant squared likewise for y, and negative secant squared for w. So we could factor out a secant squared out of all of these terms. And we'll multiply by our dp dx. Our dp dy. And negative dp dz. So minus xy. So we see that our partial derivative of p with respect to u is given as follows. yz plus 2x quantity times 1 over u plus negative xy, or we can just make that a minus xy over u. And dp dv is just xy. dp dw is secant squared of w times the quantity yz plus 2x plus xz minus 2y minus xy. 
And now we want to evaluate this in terms of UVW. So we know that our x, y, and z are given by our inverse function, which I had just erased, but we could easily just um, go back and, oh, I guess it's still here. So this is our x term. Um, this should be tangent of w is our y term, and our z term is here. So just substitute in for x, y, and z, and we have into each of the partial derivatives, and we have our solution in terms of uv and w.